Hi folks, uh, my name is Luis Sever Rocal and uh, I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to georeference an image using ArcMap 10.6. For this tutorial, you'll require a license of ArcMap 10.6 and uh, you can download the data I, I use for the tutorial from bit.ly slash Luis Rocal underscore georeferencing. So, what we're going to do is we're going to rectify or georeference an image that does not have a spatial reference using vector data. Uh, what you see in ArcMap is we have streets, the coast limit, uh, the width of the streets, buildings, and a polygon that uh, was used to cut uh, the area of study. All this data is from Panama, so most of you probably don't know where this is. So look it up. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to going to add the image that I'm going to georeference. I'm going to use Panama Bing underscore zero to JPEG. And uh, ArcMap tells us that it does not have a spatial reference, which is what we want, so we'll click on OK. Now, as you can see here on the table of content, the, the image is here, but you can't see it on the map area. And that is because it's probably it's located uh, probably down here on zero zero, while our current coordinates are around sixty six thousand and ninety nine hundred and eighty eight thousand and six hundred and sixty thousand meters. So uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to activate the georeference tool by right clicking over this area. Now we're going to dock it. Okay, it's docked now. As you can see, uh, the your referencing tool already detected uh, the image. If there were more than one image, you probably could list it here. Now, what we're going to do is fit to display, which is going to bring the image from wherever it is into this display. So we click on fit to display. And as you can see, the image is brought here, but it's slightly off. Uh, let's and I know this because uh, I know the area. I'm going to show you. Uh, if I zoom in here, I know this is the administration building. And this is the actual location of the administration building. So we're going to start our georeferencing with this building. And then we're going to move around until we uh, uh, locate more points. We're going to try to distribute them evenly to get a good uh, result. Before we start georeferencing, uh, I'm going to turn off the street width because we're not going to be using that for georeferencing. Now, we're going to start adding control points. Uh, so we click here on Add Control Point. And we, turn, we click on the place in the image we want to move. And then we click on where we want to move it. And as you can see, it right away shifted and moved the image there. Now, let's find another place to do the control points. For example, I know this building is this one that it's here because it has a hole in it. Now let's add a second. Click here. And we click here. You see the image is starting to adjust. Uh, I'm going to fast forward to the different places I'm zooming in so I'll, I won't bore you with moving around. Uh, the map, so you're going to see I pop from one place to the other. So, okay, we're going to add some more control points. Same measures are not well distributed. Uh, let's see what other. The end, you can watch in the viewer where you click here in viewer, you'll get the distribution of your current. So it's currently, these are the control points I currently have. So it's probably the reason it's telling me that it's all shifted. So I need to find some more data probably around here uh, for it to distribute a little bit better. So I'm going to zoom to that area and add some control points. Close it. I added the uh, 22 uh, control points and now I'm going to show you uh, some of the results you can get. First of all, let's see 
how I distribute them, them. As you can see, I tried to sparse them a little bit. I wish I could get more data around here and around here, but the thing is, uh, the vector data I have is very old, so there are a lot of buildings that have been demolished and uh, no longer exist. So uh, this was the best distribution I could do with, with what I had. Now I'm going to show you the, the points. I have uh, 22 points I, I used. Uh, I'm using first order polynomial transformation, which is a fine transformation. Uh, one of the things that RGIS let you, lets you do is you can activate or deactivate uh, the points who have big residuals. For example, let's say this one has a very big residual, so I might decide to eliminate it from the calculation and see that the root mean square error drops from 14 to 13. But I don't want to do that because I know that when I started, I distorted the image because I accepted the points even though it's told me that it, it was going to distort the image. So I'm going to keep them and probably I'll do another video showing how to avoid this by distorting all the points from start. Uh, so uh, let's assume that I consider that uh, 14 uh, meters for RMS errors is, is good enough for the purpose I'm going to use the image. So I'm not, not going to rectify, and it's going to create a rectified image for me. I click on rectify. Uh, it, use, it tells me the, the, the cell size. I usually like to round it up to, like, if it's 2.36, I'll use, for example, 2.5. It's just no data is 256. That's what's the value it's going to use. Uh, we're going to use bilinear interpolation because uh, our raster image is continuous data. It's a, it's a photograph. I'm going to use the TIFF format, and I'm going to tell it where to save it, just in case it forgot. I'm going to give it a name and say uh, Panama. Bing result. Say add. Wait, what was that? Oh, no, that's the output location. I'm sorry. This is the name of the of the of the file. We named it Panama Bing zero two two. I'm going to put result. I'm going to do save and. Hopefully it saved it. Now I'm going to open it. And here I have Panama Bing result TIFF. I'm going to add it. And I'm going to remove my JPEG image. And as you can see now the image is rectified. It fell right into it. Another way you can know is you go into properties. Okay. Source and in here somewhere it says what here you can see it has a XY coordinate which is the coordinate system in which our vector data is. So it's WGS 1984 UTM zone 17 north. Okay folks, that's all. Thank you so much for listening.